Hi, Aletha here with Create Your Future. Create Your Future is actually giving away a free video, How to Manifest Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. So check it out. The link is in the description box below, along with my coaching and my courses. All of my coaching right now is on sale, 50% off, and all of my courses are on sale, $20 off each course. And the courses are Manifest Exactly What You Desire, Foolproof Get Your SP Back, Manifesting with an Age Gap, a relationship where there's an age gap, um, Anti-Aging and Turning Back Your Biological Clock, and then the very last one, the key to manifesting quickly. <laughs> so um, those the link is below in the description box. Check it out. It's a good time to schedule coaching sessions with me because everything is on sale, 50% off. It's a good bargain. All right, now let's move into our topic for the day. I have a quote that I want to read to you from one of Neville's books. It says, to know what to do to save yourself or another is not enough. You must do it. You know, I tend to be one of these people who are constantly going after information, information. And, th and then all of a sudden I'll realize like, okay, I need to do what it is that I'm just learning about all the time or that I'm constantly reinforcing through different sources. And I need to actually put it into action. And so that's what I wanna talk about today, putting your knowledge into action. And you realize that it has a free will choice, right? Because we all have free will. In your quantum bubble, you're the only one with free will. No one and nothing else has any free will in your quantum bubble. And in that quantum bubble, you have the free will to choose to either do stuff, um, implement what it is that you are learning or have learned and or not. And then also, once you decide you're gonna implement it into your lifestyle as a creator, as a manifester, you have to make the choice to actually do it and stick with it, persist in it. And, um, and what I'm talking about is like making a choice to choose the new story over the old. Do you know what you want exactly? This is applying the information you have been in the process of learning, or maybe in some cases, no inside and out, but let's apply it now. So now that you're going to apply it, what do you want? You have to know that before you can actually imagine something or before you can intend anything, you have to know exactly what you want. Do you want your specific person back? Or how do you want them back? In what version of them do you want to experience? What version of yourself do you want to experience? And that's something I want to talk about self-concept. Yes, it's so important. We need to value ourselves, know that we're worthy, that we are deserving, and that this is our quantum field. We are the operant power of it. No one else has any free will in it. Everything is as we say it is, and that, that everything and everyone must conform to us because it's our quantum bubble reality. But as we do that, we have to understand that when we move from a state into another state, that's our new self-concept. Yes, you need to know that you are, and tell yourself this, I mean, if you're, if you're not feeling that you're the, the most valuable person in the world, then you need to start telling yourself that, doing intentions that reinforce that. And but when you move into another state of being, then you desire this other state from the one that you're in currently, that's actually taking your that's moving from the self-concept you have of yourself now to being that person, which is a different self-concept. In this one, supposing you want your SP back or you want them in a different version than they are. You want them to adore you. You want them to be committed to you. You want them to need you and love you as much as you need and love them. You want them to have all sorts of different things, whatever that might be for you. So that's a concept. How do you see yourself in that world with an SP that actually is really loving you and prioritizing you above all else and over other people. What, what, um, or, or an SP that is totally and completely um, in tune with your heart's desires and your needs and wants and that the two of you are very united and, and, and uh, have a blissful relationship together. That's a concept 
of yourself that's different than the one you're in right now because supposing now you're in the concept of self where you don't have this person maybe they're with someone else or they're just dating other people or and they're and maybe they're ghosting you maybe they're just not even around um, and you still want to bring them into your reality and you want that relationship with that person well you know what you want so then when you know what you want, you want a blissful, loving, committed relationship. When you do that, you have to move into that self-concept of the person who has it. It's the version of you who already has a loving, committed relationship with their special person. A version of you that already is the perfect woman for them or the perfect man for them. The version of you that lives in that world how you see yourself. You view yourself as the perfect girlfriend or boyfriend. You see yourself as the perfect spouse, whatever it is, money, health. How do you view yourself right now in the current reality? Perhaps you're struggling with pain or some kind of illness or disease. So if you want, you know that you want perfect health, you want to be free of the illness and the disease. So when you move into, you, you decide that, so then you want to live from the end of having that, to live from the end of having that, you have to change your, your self-concept from not having it and, and being a person who has pain, a person who is experiencing the things in their life that they don't want. Moving into a mental, imaginal state that says, I have it. From the end, I already have it. That's your new self-concept. I have it. And you have to live from that new self-concept. That self-concept that says, I am Mrs. or so-and-so. My, my SP is so-and-so. I have perfect health. I have the money my heart's desire. I already have it. I have a very full bank account. I am wealthy. Whatever, you're, whatever it is that you're longing for, I have the career that I, I have it. I'm living in it now. So how does that person with that self-concept of already having it think, feel, and respond and interact with everything in that state of being? And that's your self-concept. You're gonna shift from the current one that's saying I don't have and wanting and longing and needing to the, to the self-concept of having, being and doing everything your heart desires. So think about that a bit. I'm shifting from the self-concept. You can't really create that self-concept. You can't, it's not really, you can't. As long as you're living in this self-concept of not having of a person who is wanting and longing and wishing for, you need to move your self-concept internally to the end of already being the thing that you want. And in that self-concept, you have, you do, you are, everything. Think about what that would be with a special person. What would you think, say, and do? With more income, what would you think, say, and do? Where would you go? What would you be like? What is your personality? What are your attitudes? What are your assumptions about everything in life about that specific thing? So you're going to move from, you can't create from the current self-concept. You have to create with your new concept, live there mentally. And because the law of assumption works in that, when you live from a state, that has to be projected out of you and then it's pushed then it's reflected back and so you will be, you are in the process of selecting what you want from the quantum field because it already exists and it's a promise if you have a desire for something it's promised to you to be fulfilled so now what do you do how do you get it to come into your life you step out of this old concept of not having and you step into the new concept of having and you live from there so that you see everything from the eyes of the person that version of you that already has because that version of you does exist already you just need to give it your full undivided and very devoted concerted effort and attention so that it becomes your new state of consciousness you cannot develop or create or manifest is a better word a new version of you from the old version you have to step into the new version mentally in your imagination and with your thoughts your inner conversations and you live from that state so how would we do this all right so when i get up in the morning instead of being in the version of who i am right 
in, in my normal version of there's certain things I want. Okay, when I get up in the morning, my normal version, the 3D that has been as, as a result of my past thoughts, says that I don't have those things. What do I do? I immediately go internally, in turn, inside of myself, and I imagine myself being the version that I do want of whatever it is that I'm choosing to, to select whatever it is that I want to experience or manifest into my life. And then all day long, I remind myself of that with my inner conversations, um, with my, my thoughts in general. When a negative thought comes up from the old version of myself, the one that is a reflection of my past thoughts, those, when those thoughts come up into my mind, and in the beginning they will because they're a habit, and they're gonna, they're gonna be much easier, they're gonna come to you more quickly than the new version that you're, you're choosing. But you, you have to say to them, I acknowledge you, but I do not identify with you. I identify with this, the new version. And then immediately you take your thoughts, your intentions, your affirmations, your inner conversations and imaginal scenes, and you live from there so that you are that person. And, it, and it's not like you're gonna, you're gonna feel the feelings of that. Your world might not be as you're walking through your house, you're still walking through the same world and maybe you're single and you're living alone. Well, you, no one's there but you. But internally, you're with your family. Internally, you're with the person you want to be with. Internally, um, you have the money that you want. Whereas in, in the current 3D that that you're in right now, which is again, reflections from your past thoughts, you, you don't have that money but you live internally as though you do. And when you see your bank balance isn't what you want it to be, you do not get all messed up over that and focus on it. You just simply say, I, money comes to me easily and effortlessly from multiple sources. I always have more than enough money. You say intentions from the end of already having it. That, and you feel like how it would feel to always have more than, enough, more than enough money to cover all of your expenses. How would that feel? What would that be like? What would you be saying and doing? How would you, so you need to get into the habit and you have to practice because we're breaking one habit and creating a new habit, taking our focus off of one thing and putting on another, changing our consciousness from one from here, the old story to the new story. And when you, because remember, I am whatever I'm conscious of being. So if you're conscious of being sick and poor and without the person you love, then that's what's more of that's gonna come into your life. But if you start being conscious of being with the person you love, being healthy and well, having plenty of money, being and doing whatever it is your heart is desiring and yet you remember that it's a promise, it will be fulfilled, it is going to be fulfilled, it already is fulfilled because it already exists. It's just a matter of you shifting your awareness from where you are right now to that and staying there, persisting in that, staying the course, persisting. And so you are walking around in your 3D reality externally and maybe you're even running into some stuff that wants to trigger you, but you say, I don't, I acknowledge you, but I don't identify with you. You might be hearing no's from your SP on saying things that you don't want to hear, but what do you do internally? You're living internally from this other version, this other version of you, because it will become you. You will shift into, you don't know how, you don't have to worry about how it's gonna show up. You don't have to worry about how your special person is going to start telling you they're committed to you and love you and want to be, be your forever person. You don't have to know how they're, what brings them to that point. You don't need to know. You just know that it will happen because why? Everything is you pushed out and everything and everyone must conform to you. So same way with money, same way with health. You don't know how it's going to become your reality, but it will. And you just stay in that place of already having it. And the more you stay there, the sooner it comes in. And, and, you, and you start, Neville talks about, we're so addicted to our current reality and the circumstances around us that you know we're totally focused on that and we're, it's like an addiction and that's why you know it's so hard to let go of it or so hard to get beyond the negative thoughts because you're addicted to those feelings you're addicted to the lack you're addicted to the not having but he says if we would put as much if we become addicted with love for our you know really love and feel joyful love to live in that new version of us mentally internally i mean imaginally then 
and how that be your place of joy. Like you can be in a crowded room and, and maybe things are going differently than what you would like or whatever. And you can be internally in, in your imaginal world thinking about, I am this, I have that, whatever it is that you want. And you have a smile on your face and no one knows why, right? Because you are living in your alternate reality. You are, because you're gonna switch now. You're, gonna, you're moving from this parallel into that parallel, the parallel reality. She would die multidimensional. You're gonna move into another parallel reality because it's already existing and all you're doing is selecting it. And you select it by moving into it. How do you move into it? With your thoughts, with your imagination, with your inner conversations. And you stay there and you stay there and you stay there and you persist in I am and I have, it is, whatever those things may be, until it actually does show up. Because it, and, and as you do that, you have to remind yourself constantly, perhaps, I am the operant power of my reality. No one else has any free will in my reality. No one else has any power in my reality but me, unless I give it away. But don't give it away. Keep it here in the new story, in the new version of you, in that, that beautiful parallel version of you of everything your heart's desiring. And so that's my little message for today. And it, I, I think that you need to also remember that it's something you demand. You demand the old story go away because you're saying, um, I acknowledge you, because we don't want to shove and push emotion away. Just acknowledge the thought when it comes. And of course, thoughts have uh, produced feelings, so you're gonna feel a feeling of some kind. I acknowledge that, but I do not identify with it anymore. That is not my true self-concept. My self-concept is over here. This is who I am. And then you stay there and you persist in that. And you say the intention that is uh, applicable to whatever it was that that showed up negative and you stay there and you live from there internally you don't have to tell anyone you're doing it you don't have to sound like a crazy person like people in your world the 3d world may know that that you're having issues with finances they may know that they may not but supposing they do well okay you don't have to walk around saying i'm i'm a millionaire i'm a millionaire i have more than enough money to cover all of my finances you don't have to say that out, out loud so a matter of fact that it, that brings in egos and it makes it more difficult all you have to do is just live there when you see your bank account i have more than enough money to cover all of my expenses all the time when you feel a pain i am perfect health and and when you think about your SP and they're out there somewhere and you don't know where or what, and they're saying things that, that hurt, say what, say, the, say what you want. Say that. Do not keep focusing on what they've said to you. Keep, do not keep focusing on the empty bank account. Do not keep focusing on the illness. Focus on what you want. That version of you exists. You just have to give it your conscious attention. When you shift your consciousness from the old story of not having the things you want to the new story of having all those things that you want from the end of having them all, that's when your life changes. You have to change your consciousness, take your focus off the old and put it on the new. And when you do that, what you're desiring has to be pushed out and then will be reflected back. And so demand it of yourself. Demand it, demand yourself, demand that you tell the negative thoughts that come to your mind and any triggers that come from other people, things they say and do that are, again, reflections from your past thought that are not in alignment with what you want. Um, I acknowledge you, this is an internal thing, I acknowledge you, but I am not identifying with you. I identify with this. And then you see yourself being the person you want through your imagination. You hear yourself saying the I am's, I have, the affirmations, the intentions. You live from the state of consciousness of already having what your heart desires. And you need to do that, you need to demand it. I, when I'm ill, I'll demand wellness. I will demand wellness. I know that my body must comply to my thoughts. You have to do that with everything. Demand it. It's not, it's, and, and, and I'm not talking about something mean and hateful. I'm talking about being adamant so that you stay in the new story and live from there. And as you do that, and then it, it will produce your next 3D reality. And in the moment, what you're saying right now in this moment is exactly what is being pushed out of you 
and then reflect it back. So if you're saying things that have limitation and lack, and you're continually going over the old story of what you, somebody did to you, or why you don't have enough money, or telling your symptoms again and again and again, thinking about them, being fearful of them, then you're going to continue to create that. But if you say no, that's where the demand comes is no, I will not think those thoughts. I will only think what it is that my heart desires and I will do it from the end of already having it. And as you do that, the more you do it, it's a practice breaking an old habit and forming a new one, breaking an old program, getting rid of it and creating a whole new one because what you want, what you desire is already promised to you and it already exists. All you have to do is say, I have it, it's mine now. And nothing and no one can take that away from me but me. So I have chosen to live from the end of already having everything my heart desires. If you would like help, walk, help walking through this in your daily life and in creating the dreams of your life, well, they're already created, they're already in existence, but if you would like some assistance, I am more than happy to help you through coaching. Um, I simply love it to help people and um, it's sometimes good to have another perspective. And it's also good to remember that in the beginning when we're doing this, we need con constant communication sometimes with someone to help us stay on track when we don't realize we've adopted a uh, negative assumption or we have some kind of block that we didn't know. We just need to rearrange words so that, that our intention is clearly going to our our subconscious mind in the way that we're choosing it too. And to remember that when you have a, when you're worrying, worry has an image to it and it goes to your subconscious mind. You, you get to make a choice with your cognitive mind or your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. The choice is, am I going to choose the negative or am I going to choose the positive? And if you choose the negative, there's a picture and it goes to your subconscious mind. You choose the positive, there's a picture. It goes to your conscious mind. And the conscious mind does not discriminate between the negative or the positive. It sees the picture, it pushes it out. So it's reflected back then. So choose, make that demand yourself to choose the positive that's in alignment with what your heart's desiring and live from that state of being and keep doing it and doing it and doing it. And remember that you don't have to be perfect, you're just shifting your, your state of consciousness from one state to another. And that your self-concept is different over here than it is in the old story. You're just moving it into the new story in yourself. And this state of consciousness or this um, self-concept is I have. I feel joy, I feel bliss, I'm excited, I'm elated. I am whatever it is your heart's desiring, you live from there and you feel those feelings. And that's your new self-concept. And that's what you take with you as you move into this new version of you. As a matter of fact, it's not that you're taking it with you, that is who it is. And you must comply to that. You must conform to that new version of you, that new self-concept by sticking with it, by persisting in it, no matter what's going on in the 3D. And there's where we have trouble as humans. We still get caught up over here and think we're conditioned and limited and everything by what's going on in 3D. And I was speaking to someone the other night and um, later I was reflecting back on it and I realized that there was some intensity in our conversation, love but intensity, um, and not totally agreeing on something. And I realized you know, my, my conversation with that person was with, <laughs> with an illusion, with a hologram, with, with it wasn't real. I put so much energy into something that wasn't real. All I really would have needed to do was say, okay, fine. And, and left that person peacefully and lovely, which was anyway peaceful, but you know, just to move on because internally I was intending and saying all the things that my heart desired for that situation because it's my reality. I get to have be do whatever I want. This is my, they can do that in their reality, their own bubble, but in my bubble reality, I get, to, I get to call the shots. I get to experience what I want to experience. And so I realized that all I would have needed to do was just be kind. I was kind, but just to not, not argue, not talk about it, and just simply know that I can go internally and have and be and do that, and it will show up in my 3D reality because I get to make that choice. Okay, so again, courses are available, uh, $20 off each course. 
50% off off my coaching and I would love to work with you and help you through this whole process. And if you have questions about anything I said today, or if it doesn't make sense, please feel free to schedule an appointment with me and we can talk through it. Blessings. Have a fabulous day.